Excellency Adipan, forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. May haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And today is uh, November 3rd, and we continue offer our All Souls Novena Mass for All Souls. And also, today we offer our Mass intention for Ada Gomez and family uh, in Thanksgiving. Let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the sins you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet and whatever other commandments there may be are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and leads and leans to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and leans to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bl Blessed the man who is gracious and leans to those in need. He draws through the darkness a life for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well, for the man who is gracious and leans, who conducts his affairs with justice. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. 
His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed is the man. The man who is gracious and lends to the needs. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus. He turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wish to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there's enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers shall laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? And if not, while he's still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. As Jesus' fame spread and the people come to follow him, because of uh, his word of preaching and also his uh, miraculous power. And he did many miracles. He chased out the demons and he performed great miracles of healing. So many people came to him and for different purpose. And of course we know even his close friend, those people who follow him often ask him, we have followed you, what we can get from you, and uh, what is our inheritance, and uh, what is our reward. So people have a different uh, intention, motivation to follow Jesus Christ, including his apostles and his disciples. And Jesus often tells them, it's not really if you were, if you were focused on what you are getting, and you constantly seeking reward and uh, seeking inheritance. Probably that's not the way you're following me. That's why today we hear that Jesus, uh, again teaching his disciples, have a pure intention to follow him. And not following him entails a sacrifice and entails giving up their families and giving up all their possessions. So 
Jesus says today, and in a very critical language, he said, "Whoever does not hate his mother of mother or father, wife, children, or brothers and sisters, cannot be my disciple." And of course, Jesus is not preaching about ha- hatred, and Jesus really、uh, let them know. That、uh, they should put Jesus always first, and、uh, put even、uh, put Jesus even before their families and even their themselves. So Jesus demand total、uh, dedication to Him. So we often say, "Oh, that's a high order, and how how who can do it? And why does Jesus demand that?" And because Jesus is God, first of all, second, Jesus know what is best for us and for His disciples. And、uh, we human beings are living in this、uh, world temporarily, and、uh, we all seeking enter into the kingdom. And especially only by accepting Jesus totally, then we can spread the love, and we know what love is if we dedicate it to ourselves. To totally love God, so <coughs> that's、uh, always、uh, have been in the case, and、uh, even in Old Testament, and God、uh, ask people of Israel, "You shall love God about all things, and love God with all your heart, with all your being." So only we place God first in our life, then we know how to order things in our life. It's not that we place God first, then we do not know、uh, how to love、uh, other things anymore. We do not know how to love our family anymore. Actually, if you love God first, then you know how to love your family, and you know how to love yourself. Especially if you place God first, and <laughs> you can imitate how Jesus loved you and loved others. So,、uh, sounds like very strict from Jesus Christ, but、uh, Jesus is teaching his disciples how to love, and、uh, how to love God, how to love our families, and、uh, how to love even our enemies. So let us come to the Lord, and we know whatever Jesus command us is good for us. It's not really restrict us, but free us from all attachment from the world, free us from all the attachment from our family and from our possession. So Jesus says,、uh, "Anyone of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot、uh, be my disciples." And、uh, we are attached to many things in the world. In that way, we do not have the freedom, freedom to love, and、uh, freedom of love. So let us come to the Lord, and、uh, once again, hear Jesus call, and He calls us to follow Him by announcing everything that hinder us to be His disciples. My brothers and sisters, God wants us, God wants us all to be diligent workers for the coming of His kingdom. We are His hand and His feet. Let us pray for greater generosity and sincerity in God's service. May the church be transparent to its Lord, freed from the bondage of seeking power or wealth. Let us pray to the Lord. May those with a responsibility for the common good overcome self-interest and pursue justice, equality, and fair play. Let us pray to the Lord.
May we lighten the cross of others by our sympathy, our readiness to share time, possessions, and friendship. Let us pray to the Lord. May all our our lively activities be in harmony with our love of Christ and its teaching. Let us pray to the Lord. May we constantly test the values by which we live and make decisions in conformity with the standards Jesus puts before us in the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the sick, and we continue to pray for the end of the pandemic, and pray for all the suffering, and the immigrants, the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, in uh, these nine days, novena, uh, we pray for all souls, especially those uh, names are placed on the altar. For all of them, let us pray to the Lord. In Thanksgiving, we pray for Ada Gomez and their family. Let us pray to the Lord. Now, in the silence of our hearts, we offer our own personal prayers. Grace and loving God, we thank you for calling each of us to be disciples of Jesus Christ. And through him, I trust in your mercy, we offer all our prayer. And may you hear and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice your hand for praise and love and company for good and good of us. May this sacrificial offering, O oh Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy pouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us, a, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself uh, by the blood of His cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all sins, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As a result, end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal, to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Dear brothers and sisters at the Savior's command and from the body of my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Our is with all his pegada modi, miserere novi. Our is with all his pegada modi, miserere novi. Our is with all his begotta moody, down on me bate. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by the heavenly sacrament, we may be prepared for your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you all for joining the Mass. Have a blessed day.